Hello everyone, here's a quick Internet of Things demo featuring the MSP430 F5529 Launchpad paired with the CC3100 Wi-Fi booster pack. Um, so I've actually got it plugged in here on the back. Um, and between these two boards, we can basically create a complete embedded Wi-Fi development platform. Um, and between those two chips, um, we've got a pretty powerful um, system here for an affor affordable price. Um, the Launchpad is available for just 13 bucks. Um, and the Wi-Fi booster pack on the back here is available for about 20 So for 33 bucks, you've got quite a lot of uh, functionality. Um, so in this particular instance, I've got it hooked up to an RGB LED light strip, um, as well as an array of 8x8 LED matrices. Um, and you can actually see that I've got Twitter strings going through the scrolling marquee. Um, so overall, I wanted to demonstrate a very simple... Um, sort of Internet of Things or cloud-connected application. Uh, in this particular setup, my launchpad is hooked up to my home network uh, over Wi-Fi, um, and I'm basically listening to all public tweets that have the hashtag football. Um, so you may have seen that hashtag flow by um, a few times already. Um, but basically, anytime anyone in the world tweets any tw Twitter message with the hashtag football, um, my application will see it. Um, and where the RGB LED LEDs come into play is that it is actually visualizing sentiment. Um, so the overall mood or emotion associated to the incoming tweets. Um, so you can actually see that hashtag football is a pretty happy topic because my RGB LED strips are green. Um, had I put a hashtag that was maybe a, a, a sadder topic or a, a more negative topic, uh, the LEDs would actually get uh, more red. Um, and they would get redder and redder over time. Um, but it's pretty clear that hashtag football is a, uh, is a happy topic here. Um, so that's everything happening here on the hardware side. Uh, we used Energia to program the Launchpad. Uh, and Energia is a open source community developed um, tool for creating uh, firmware on our Launchpad kits. Um, and if you're a maker and you've used other maker tools for writing code on a microcontroller, um, you'll be very, I think, happy to see that it's a familiar environment uh, with a lot of the same APIs and functions that the maker community is, is very much already familiar with. Um, so in this particular instance, we're using MQTT. Uh, MQTT is an Internet of Things communication protocol that enables our launch pads to interact with other connected devices or web services. Um, and speaking of web services, I'm using a tool here called Node-RED. Uh, Node-RED is a cloud-based, or uh, it's actually based on Node.js, and it's running and deployed on a cloud server right now. Um, and this is an application that I put together. So with Node-RED, the idea is that you can string together the Internet of Things. Um, and this uh, sort of flow that I've put together um, is a simple application that, as I mentioned before, filters all um, public tweets for the hashtag football. Uh, Any time a tweet has that hashtag, it'll actually shoot that tweet message out and it'll go into this uh, save latest tweet block, um, which is a node that I've created. Uh, eventually, the Twitter string will go into the sentiment block, and this is going to do some sentiment analysis on the entire string. Um, and that'll return a value between negative 5 and positive 5. Uh, negative 5 for a negative or sad tweet positive 5 for a more happy tweet. Um, and that number is actually going to go here, get aggregate score. And I'm actually just adding those scores together. So if I get a lot of positive tweets in a row, my number gets larger and larger. Um, if I get a lot of negative tweets in a row, my number gets smaller and smaller. Um, and I'm actually going to save that into a global variable as well. Um, so with that flow, I was able to get the tweet, save the entire Twitter message, analyze its sentiment, and get an aggregate score. Um, and once I have both the tweet and the aggregate score in a global variable, I'm using another flow here called a trigger every 30 seconds. Um, so every 30 seconds, I'm actually going to set off a trigger, which will retrieve my latest tweet and my latest score and concatenate it into a string. And once I have that complete string, I'm going to publish it over MQTT under the topic LED color. So now my launchpad can actually subscribe to that MQTT publication. So anytime, or basically every 30 seconds, I publish a new message over MQTT under this specific topic, my launchpad will receive it. 
And at that point, that's where my launch pad is parsing that string um, and extracting both the latest sentiment score as well as the latest tweet. Um, and once we get that information, that allows us to modulate PWM to control the RGB LEDs, um, as well as pass the string onto the RGB, or I'm sorry, onto the uh, LED uh, matrix here. Um, so that's it, just a very simple application to hopefully showcase how uh, easy it can be to create a IoT connected application. Um, I think this application does a decent job uh, demonstrating the flexibility of IoT type applications where developers can actually make a choice in terms of whether they want to have intelligence and logic here on local hardware uh, versus offloading some of that into the cloud. Um, especially for things like sentiment analysis, that's something that a microcontroller probably isn't best suited for. Uh, however, a, a cloud-based web service is, is probably better suited for that. Um, so thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys have learned a little bit about IoT. Uh, you can learn more about Launchpad at ti.com slash launchpad. Um, and you can learn more about Energia, the programming tool that we use for our Launchpad here at www.energia.nu. Um, so that's it. Thank you for watching.